ideally growing up through life. Most children are raised by both parents. Me growing up through life, I was raised by my mother. Yes, we butt heads a few times, I mean, but isn't that normal for mother and daughter? If my mother never would have raised me the way she did, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Point B by Sarah Kay is a great explanation of how I wish one day I might be able to raise my daughter. If I should have a daughter instead of mom, she's going to call me point B. Because that way she knows that no matter what happens, at least she can find her way to me. And I'm going to paint the solar system on the back of her hand. So that way she has to learn the entire universe before she can say, oh, I know that, like the back of my hand. She's going to learn that life will hit you hard in the face. Wait for you to get back up just so it can hit you in the stomach. Getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much they love the taste of air. There is hurt here that cannot be fixed by band-aids or poetry. So for the first time she realizes that Wonder Woman isn't coming, I'll make sure she knows she doesn't have to wear the cape by herself. Because no matter how wide you stretch your fingers, your hands will always be too small to catch all the pain you want to heal. Believe me, I've tried. And maybe I'll tell her, don't stick your nose up in the air like that. I know that trick. I've done it a million times. You're just smelling for the smoke to lead you to a trail, to a burning house, to a boy who lost everything in the fire, to see if you can save him. Or else find the boy who lit the fire in the first place, to see if you can change him. But I know she will anyways. So instead, I'll keep an extra supply of chocolate and rain boots nearby. Because there's no heartbreak that chocolate cannot fix. Okay. But there's a few heartbreaks that chocolate can't fix. But that's what the rain boots are for. Because rain wash everything away if you let it. I want her to see the world through the underside of a glass bottom boat. So look it through a microscope at the galaxies that exist on the pinpoint of a human mind. Because that's how my mama taught me. That there will be days like this. That there will be days like this, my mama said. When you open your hands to catch, you wind up with only blisters and bruises. When you step out of the phone booth to fly, and the very ones you're trying to save are the ones standing on your cape. When your boots will fill with rain, and you'll be up to your knees in disappointment. And those are the very more days you have all the more reason to say thank you. Because there's nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean refuses to stop kissing the shoreline, no matter how many times it's sent it away. You put the wind and win some and lose some. You put the star and starting over and over, no matter how many landmines erupt in a minute. Be sure your mind lands on the beauty of this funny place called life. And yes, on a scale from one to over-trusting, I am pretty naive, but I want her to know. This world is made out of sugar, can crumple so easily, but don't be afraid to stick your tongue out and taste it. And baby, I'll tell her, remember, your mama is a worrier, and your papa is a warrior, and you are the girl with the small hands and big eyes that never stop asking for more. And remember that good things come in threes, and so do bad things. And always apologize when you've done something wrong. But don't you ever apologize for the way your eyes refuse to stop shining. Your voice is small, but don't ever stop singing. 
And when they finally hand you a heartache, slip hatred and war under your doorstep, and hand you handouts on street corners of cynicism and defeat, you tell them, you really ought to meet my mother.